any interruptions in the show. Listen, man, you want to be a part of this live chat? Go ahead to the main channel page. Net to the subscribe button. You'll see a join button. Click that join button. It'll take you into the kiosk. Go ahead in there, man, and shoot on back through. So you can go ahead and enjoy the show, man. So you can go ahead and enjoy the show. Now, Chill Bill, what up with you, bro? I see you, man. Chill Bill, what up? Oh, yeah, it's all Gators, man. All Gators, man. June, yo, what up, June? Good to see you in the joint, man. Let's get it, people, man. Maybe, like, let's go and give them three more minutes. We'll go in at 10, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, this grown man talk over here, man. So, you know, I, I mean, she, 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 she got what she was looking for. You know what I'm saying? We we felt good today, so we gave a little bit of attention out today. I mean, not 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 the kind she was looking for, but a, a little bit of attention. We'll do that from time to time. We understand what it means when you don't have a man in your life giving you no guidance. I sympathize with you because I know you're not navigating this life the way you need to. Any woman who doesn't have a man's guidance in her life, she's not navigating this 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 world the way she needs to. And a lot of times, man, you'll see a woman who got a little paper. And you'll think that she's doing it big, but a lot of times women have a little paper man because she didn't divorce some guy and took his money. If you divorce some guy and took his money, you don't get no props for that. He gets detriment for that. Yeah, he looked at it and said, bro, you shouldn't have did that, but you don't get no props for that. A lot of times, man, you see these women, man, they got, that's why they got paper. Or they got paper because their husband died in an accident, or he passed away and left them life insurance money, or, or their dad died and left them something. Like, a lot of times they had their paper man, they don't have their paper because they grinded up to it. Quick 504, what up, man? I see you quick. DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. Appreciate the fireball, man. Never try to change the woman. Just change the woman. Yeah, never try to change a woman. Just change the woman. You understand? Don't try to change a woman. Change women. So this is going to be a phenomenal show, man. And let me tell y'all something. Let's get into the, let, let's talk. We're not going to even get into the elephants first. Let me tell you something. To all the suckers that say, I don't date no single mom. I ain't, I ain't, I, I ain't going to do that. Now I ain't going to date no single. I ain't finna mess with no single mom at all. Anybody who says that, they don't get no women, dog. If you, if, if you just, if you say you have never dated or, or dealt with a single mom, bro, you don't get women. Stop try, Stop saying you a player and then turn around and say you don't date single women. You don't date single mom. Because here's the thing. In America, the majority of women have a child. And as the time goes on, they're getting younger and younger. There was a time where the majority of women, 27, 26, 26, 27, 28, had a kid. Now, the majority of women, 22, 23, 24, have a child. So you're not going, especially an attractive woman, you're not going to find many women who don't have children. And if you're a young guy, yeah, you could date some younger women. You could date some 20, 21, 22. But if you're, if you're in your, the, your late 20s, early 30s, 40s, 50s, anything like that, then, bro, you're going, if you, interact with women on a regular basis you're going to deal with some single moms that's just that's just the fact of it and they're going to be they're going to be great looking women they're going to be very attractive women but they're going to be single moms that's just the way it is so remember that anybody who's always talking that talk man that boy reading a script or something that that boy that man that boy don't deal with no women on a regular basis like that now let's get into some elephants first elephant if she's a single mom you will never be her first choice for love and happiness ever her first choice of love and happiness, it already failed. So just remember that. Like you will never be, if you're okay with being her second choice for love and happiness, go for it. But you will never be her first choice for love and happiness. You just won't. It doesn't matter who she is, you will never be her first choice for love and happiness. Because deep down inside, internally, a woman wants that first choice of love and happiness and family to be with a man she has a child with. That uh, We all do. Even men, we want that. Everyone wants that. Everyone wants that family environment to raise a child in. And so you'll never be her first choice for love and love and happiness and, and you know, and long term family and all of that. You'll never be your first choice. That's just the real. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just true. All right. It's just true. Now, secondly. Most times she's really not looking. For a relationship unless she's a little bit older. Because I'm going to tell you, it's a great emotional toll on a woman when she tries to make a relationship work with a man. And they have a child together and they try to family thing together and it doesn't work. The part of her that was all, you know, let's go all in on relationship. That part is dead. So she's probably not going to even want a relationship. Now, that's a benefit. 
You don't have to worry about because you know sometimes you meet a woman and within within three weeks, man, they be talking about where do where do you see us? Well, that's my experience. I don't, it may that may not be yours, but within three weeks, well, well, you know, where do you see us going? You know, oh, what do you mean? Where we going? Hell, we ain't been shit. We ain't been around the corner too many times yet. What you talking about? But you don't have to worry about her doing that because really deep down inside, she understands. Here's the thing that a woman understands when she has a child or children. She understands that that is a bit of baggage that she didn't have before. She understands that. So certain things that she would be available to do without a child, she's not available to do those things. And her availability is limited if she has a child. She understands that. So she knows that what she's looking for is a man who understands those time restraints. So she ain't going to really try to die right into no relationship with you, man. And that's cool. That's cool. She ain't gonna, she'll, 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 she'll never do that. You understand? Now, so these are things that you should understand. You shouldn't do that. Like you shouldn't, you got to remember you will never be your first choice for family, love and happiness, future and all that. And I want you to understand this. You deserve to have a woman who, who, who you are or her first choice, who chooses you first, who wants to do that first with you. You deserve to have that. Now there's no guarantee that's going to work out either. I'm not saying that's going to work out. All Man, relationships take work. Like, they really take work. And the moment either side starts slacking, it's almost over at that point. People just go on for years and years and years and years. But it's, it's pretty much over at that point. Because if you start slacking, you're not interested in it anymore. You're not motivated to make it successful anymore. And so if you're not her first choice and you go ahead and dive into it anyway, you're going to be a Russell Wilson. You know, you're going to be a Russell Wilson. You're going to be a Jalen Green. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's who you're going to be. And none of us wants to be that. That's, that's not a life to aspire to for a man. GMB, my brother, salute to you, man. Appreciate you being in the joint, man. G say you will never be, you will never have a sense of, you'll never be happy, have a sense of fulfillment being a step dummy. Trust me. Yeah, man, you won't. You won't. There's no fulfillment in it. And, you know, and people like to say that, Yes, the children benefit. Everybody who had a stepdad always bragging about how great their stepdad was. It ain't too many stepdads bragging about that shit. Go find me the 50, go find me the 50, 60, 70 year old stepdad that bragging about being a stepdad. I ain't never heard of all these people that create all this content. I have never seen a man come online and brag about the benefits he got all his life from being a stepdad. I ain't never seen it. Especially, especially. If him and a woman are divorced, if him and a woman are no longer together, he don't get no benefits. He didn't get no benefits. So I just want y'all to understand that. And the few men who did get a benefit, it ain't enough for them to overlook the fact of how much more beneficial it would have been if they had been a woman's first choice for family and future. Now, this is a benefit. A single mom has to and will put out expeditiously it ain't gonna take long to get it in with a single if it take you a long if you got to go through all them hoops and you got to get flaked on and all that man with a woman with a kid bro you need to go do some soul searching you need to go do some soul searching dog you know what i'm saying because you, here's what you have to understand she can't monopolize your time this is one of the greatest benefits. She can't monopolize your time. She can't always try to, well, she can't try to monopolize your time. She can't always try to be with you. She can't always try to be up under you. Why? Because she has a kid. Kids take time, effort, and energy. She's going to burn a whole lot of time, effort, and energy being a mom. That's a good thing. If Now, if you're looking for a relationship, let's be honest. Some men will date, mate, and wife up a single mom. Hey, listen, man. We talk about that over here all the time, but this is not the point where we, if a man is going to do that, then I could, I mean, listen, you got to navigate every relationship the same way, but some relationships come with extra detriment, extra detriment and some relationships come, some relationships come with extra benefit. So if that's what you're going to do, if you're okay with dating, mating, wifing up a single mom, fine, you can do that, but it's a detriment to you because she ain't going to never have the time for you that you need. If you're if you're gonna just, if you just want one woman, like there's some one there's some one woman men out here. If you're a one woman man, and that woman is a single mom, 
You got to understand that she's not going to be able to contribute the time, effort, and energy that you would need her to contribute in order to even build that type of relationship with her. It's just not going to be there. Like DJ Fresh said, if you're not her first choice, she's going to be your worst choice. That's it. That's the reality of it. If you're not her first choice, she's going to be your worst choice. You'll suffer in the end. And then, I, and, and also, I look at it like this, man. If you're in a situation with a woman and y'all in a relationship and she has a child and that child is living in your house and you're taking care of that child, ain't really no need for her to talk to the child dad no more. You're taking care of the responsibility. If, if it ain't going to be like that, then what you doing? That means she got two men at one time helping her with a child and only one man got the joy of having. He's the one that laid up. He's the one that thrust and bust. He the one that did all that. You ain't do nothing but you helping him and her taking care of the responsibilities that they made together. That shit is dumb. It don't make sense. So she can't monopolize your time, which is good for the man who just, I mean, who just out here dating and, and you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not you know, just, you know, packing and waxing. If that's what you're doing, man, if you're macking and packing, you know, that's cool. But if you're looking for a relationship with a woman, dog, you're going to have a hard time even trying to build a type of effort. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to be a man that be longing for a woman that you can't get to when you need to get to. And then what happens? If you, if you still want to go that route, then you're, you're going to be pressed to spend time with her child you're going to have to spend time with her kids that's just the way it is if you're looking at that woman and she's an option for you long term you got to start spending time with her kid real quick and i'm gonna be honest with you in the beginning the more time you spend with a woman kid the more likely you are to get comfortable in the stepdad position now let me tell y'all something i will say this about stepdad just because you're with a woman who has a child doesn't mean you have to be a stepdad if if you're going to deal with a woman with a child, let me tell you what you do. You deal with a woman with a child whose who's, who's baby daddy is taking care of every damn thing. I'm talking about she ain't even got to spend no money on the kid. The money she spent on the kid, she spent it because she want to. She ain't got to do nothing for the kid. That's the type of responsibility, the financial responsibility. Now, if you're in the household, that's some shit that's going to come with it. Child, you're going to be in your household. But if you're going to deal with a woman with a kid on a serious basis, bro, she better have a child with a man that's getting money. And he better be able to break bread, enough bread to take care of all the financial responsibility for his child. Because if the child in your house, you still got to raise the child and train the child. How you going to raise the child, train, train the child, and take care of the child? Then you didn't have the fun of thrusting and busting to make the child. Man, y'all boy, wow. Now, the second thing. This is a benefit for a man like me. Really, for all men, this is a benefit. She will view time with you as a paradise of peace a paradise of peace so she ain't gonna never bring no drama to your crib never she looking forward to her time with you because you know what she can do she can be single again and she can she can have the husband experience and you and she'll give you the wife experience you understand what i'm saying she'll give you the wife experience and you can give her the husband experience and y'all can be married for the weekend bro i'm telling you all week if she if she gonna spend a few days y'all can y'all can y'all you can have a whole wife experience she can have a husband experience she's looking forward to that because what you got to remember is a woman who's a, a good active mother she needs that time but that's also the reason you got to be aware of the fact that it's very difficult for her to just deal with one man because she's going to at a point want a man who doesn't mind spending time with her kids and if you're trying to be serious with her you got to you got then it's okay with you you're gonna go ahead and do that but if you're not then you got you got to you know you you can't ever let your mind wrap around the fact that if you got your mind made up you don't ever want to spend time with her kids and then like that then you probably it's probably going to be a one and done thing for you because if the woman is a good mother you're going to see her kids eventually sooner than later the better mother she is then sooner than the, the then more sooner than later you're going to have to meet her kids man and if that's going to let you know what kind of mother she is like if man listen bro if you're dealing with a woman for x amount of months and like you go into her crib she come into your crib you know, and you'll never meet her kid. There's one or two things happening. She ain't looking for shit serious, 
which is cool for a man who ain't looking for that series, but this is for you men who are looking for some series. This is a detriment for you. Either she ain't looking for that series with you, or she's still tied to her baby daddy. So, and, and that's why it's such a detrimental thing to try to create uh, a, an, a, a committed relationship with a woman who has his kid by another man. Like it's, it's such, there are so many, there's just so many possible detriments and so many things that could, that could go wrong. That it's, it's just a risk that, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a very high risk to take, man. And for me, like, I ain't really with no woman, man, being all, all, all friendly and lovey dovey with another dude, not, not, not being my woman and being, that shit ain't going to work right there, man. And we're talking about, there's nothing you can even do about that. Eric Bradford, appreciate the five bone, man. BOA, what's your take if the woman is old and the children are grown? It's different. If the children grown, then that don't count. You, you, one thing you can't do, you can't be grown. You can't be stepdad to no grown children. You know what I'm saying? You can't be stepdad to no grown children. So they don't need no stepdad. Hell, they don't need their real dad. They grown. So that's a different ball game right there. You no, know, my problem is, my thing is, like, if I was cutting a woman that age and she had grown children, man, my thing is, man, I believe... Oh man, I believe, man. Oh man, one of her daughters or nieces or something, man, might try to throw that thing at me, man. I had that thing happen before, man. I had that happen. I also had a woman, uh, I had a mama throw that thing at me, man. So, you know, it just be like that, man. You know, when the alpha energy show up in the building, man, it's something different. It's, it don't matter what you got on. It don't matter what you, it don't matter, you know, what you're wearing. It don't matter what jewelry you got on, what car you're driving in there. When the alpha energy fall through, all the female attention just feels some kind of way about it. Like, they don't even know why. It's just an energy, man, that comes in. You can even fake that energy, man. You can come in with fake confidence, man. Fake, fake bravado, man. As long as you don't go overboard with it and be obnoxious, uh, an obnoxious jerk, man. You women respond to fake bravado. They re they respond to fake masculinity. They re they respond to fake alpha energy. But when a real deal come in, it's not a response that they can control. But anyway, that's that's kind of off topic, man. But let's go and get into it. So another thing I tell y'all is this, man. And this and this, I guess you could look at this as a this is a benefit. This is a benefit. When, when you're dealing with a single mom, her life is hectic. You know what I'm saying? You think about it. She got work. Sometimes they be in school and they got work and they got kids. So you're dealing with her. Her life is hectic. When she's around you, all she needs is rest and freakiness to offset her hectic life. She needs the pheromone shot. Not the pheromone shot, but the... um. Uh, Man, what am I thinking about, man? The feel-good hormone, man. Somebody put it in the comments for me, man. Dopamine. She needs the dopamine shot of thrusting and busting. She needs that. And she needs some rest. So the best time to have a single mom come through is when you ain't got shit to do. When you ain't got nothing to do and you just chilling, man, listen, there's nobody better to Netflix and chill with than a single mom, dog. Ain't nobody better to Netflix and chill with. Than a single mom and the bottom line is if you want to just hang out and chill but not have nobody man they're gonna be you know all all in your pocket all the time bro you know just always trying to hang out then that's the best thing for you to do but honestly man over here in the alpha sphere like we grown men like we're in a situation over here where we're almost we almost have the mindset that if you're not worthy of the wife position, then we feel like we're wasting time, even spending time with you. But not all men are like that. You understand? Not all men are like that. So, and you also got to think about this. She has to be really tame around her kids. So if she, if she's a good mom, she's really tame around her kids. She watches her manners. She minds her manners. But she come around you, man, and get buck wild. She let her hair down when she come around you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why guys will tell you some of the best intimacy, some of the most intimate experience, the most enjoyable intimate experience that you're going to have going to be with a single mom, going to be with a woman with a kid, boy, because she needs to let her hair down. Like she needs to get buck wild and she knows it's going to be a minute before she has an opportunity to let her hair down again. So she's going to let her hair go all the way down. I mean, it's going to be, hey, listen, man, it's going to be a hell of a good time, bro. It's going to be a hell of a good time. She's going to be ready to play. She's going to be ready to play and play and play because she knows she can't stay. 
And that's one of the, for me, that's one of the greatest benefits. Cause man, listen, I don't travel a lot in the wintertime, man. I don't, I don't like being outdoors in the wintertime, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a tropical dude. You know what I'm saying? West Indian heritage, man. I'm a tropical dude. So when I, when I go out, man, I'm gonna tell you, man, when I, when I spring, summertime come around, man, I, I, I listen, man, I be, I be running up the miles, man. You know what I'm saying? I be running up those, uh, the frequent flyer miles, but I be running them up. So that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? For me, that fits into my life in a certain way. Now, I'm not saying that that's the, that'd be the greatest possible situation, but that fits into my life when I be moving around, moving and grooving like that. Because you got to think about it. If you're a man who got an old lady at home, man, and you travel like that all the time, man, that, that's going to be a lonely woman at the crib. And you crazy if you bring a woman into your life, dog, and you ain't got time for her. Why bring a woman into your life that you're going to make a lonely woman? Man, let me tell you something. A lonely woman with an idle mind, boy, somebody finna, somebody finna be banging that thing from behind, boy. I'm telling you, you might well get ready for it. So here's another thing, man. Now, here's a benefit. Here's a benefit for all of us. You automatically put her on a short leash. You don't give her. Now, you put, you put all women on a short leash, but her leash is shorter, right? Because she already has that disadvantage of that baggage. I, I think the problem with women who have children is they don't understand that, but they do understand. They just don't want you. They want, they want a man to be the only thing that that's not affected by the fact they have a child already. You know, they know their time is affected. Some women being college, man, have a child. They had to drop out, man. You know what I'm saying? Like some women have a, have a, have a, a banging job, man, or they have, you know, a plan to, you know, go relocate overseas or do something like that, man. They have a child, man, everything go out the window. They know what kind of detriment having a child is, but they don't want you to look at it like that. They want it to be a benefit to you. But how can it possibly be? How can it possibly be? As a man, you have to understand that that could never possibly be a benefit to you. If it was listen, if it wasn't a, if the man who had if the man who put the baby in her didn't view it as a benefit, how you gonna view it as a benefit? So her baggage puts her at a disadvantage. So it, unless you're just the weakest man alive, the most emotionally immature and the most emotionally available man around, then it's gonna be hard for you to become emotionally attached to her prematurely. Which shit any time is probably prematurely but you understand what i'm saying if you're a man that's willing to date a single mom and possibly be with a single mom long term then i gotta address you guys too because you know the majority of men will the majority of men out here will wife up a single mom the majority of men will let's just keep it a buck and you know here in the alpha sphere not so much but the majority of men in this society will do that. Now, the next thing is this, man. You got to remember this, and this is a confidence builder, a confidence boost, or a confidence reminder for all men. If you're on your shit, you're likely her best option. I want you to remember that. If you're on your shit, you're likely her best option. You don't think Jalen Green was Drea Michelle's best option? You don't, you don't think Trayvon Diggs was Joy Chavis' best option? You don't think Russell Wilson was Sierra's best option? You don't think Will Smith, Independence Day Will Smith, was Jada Pinkett's best option? And the list goes on and on. You got to remember this. Out of all the guys in the world, you don't think Jay-Z was Beyonce's best option? He was a boss. If you're on your shit, then you got to remember that you're her best option. She likely doesn't have a better option than you, because if she had a better option than you, she'd be with that option. So you got to remember that. That's one thing that I never want you to forget. Because many men with money are seeking wifey type. And many men with money don't view a woman with a kid by another man as wifey type. Many men don't. I mean, many men don't. 
You find me the man who got paper who's not Russell Wilson or one of these young sucker, one of these young sucker athletes, man. Athletes, man, listen, man. Young athletes are suckers, man. So you got to understand, man, the majority of these guys that never get women, man, before they had money. And, and the majority of them still don't get women after they get money. Man, let me tell you something. I've known some professional basketball players, dog. You know what they do? Professional football players, too. You know what they do? Man, they go to practice. They go home. They take a nap. They go back to practice again. They go home. They take a nap. And then they go out with their boys to the club. Or they go to one of their boys' crib and chill and shoot pool or something. And then they go back home. You know what I'm saying? Like these guys, man, like they really, they, they, they're socially awkward. But having money puts you in the spotlight to where you start to get comfortable around people because you're around them so much because they want to come around you so much. Now, not all of those guys, but a lot of those guys, man, a lot of those guys, man, they just don't, they just, they don't know what to do. And so if you're a man that don't know what to do, some guys don't know what to do. Some guys will fall head over heels and wife up. I mean, all type of levels of women. You know, I mean, listen, I've had so many guys, like, I don't, I don't even take calls from guys, man, who, who aren't seeking, aren't seeking arrangements anymore. If you're on seeking arrangements, if that's the first thing you do, man, I'm going to refund your money, bro. Don't, I'm not going to even talk to you because you want me to tell you, you want me to give you some magical game, some magical, some magical ism to turn a situation that started out with you tricking into a woman that respect you and want to be your girl without you paying her. It doesn't happen that way. You understand? It doesn't happen that way. And so it's the same thing. But a man will meet a woman with a kid and then start treating her like she doesn't have a kid because you'll get into the mindset that her kids are your kids. That's what Sierra's dealing with right now. She's in a situation with a man who has accepted her kid that she had with another man as his own. And so now that man don't even see her as a single mom. He sees her as the mother of his children. He claims all of the children even the ones she already had and so those types of situations yes it looks good to the people around because everybody only cares that let me tell you what happens man people only want sierra to win because they think it makes future look away they don't want sierra to win and russell wilson to win too they want russell wilson to be the reason sierra wins and right now, he's being that reason as his career dwindles, continues to dwindle. Pittsburgh Steelers, man, they, they, they picked him up. I think they gave him like $1.9 or something like that. You know, Denver owes him like 30 some million. So they picked him up for $1.9 million. Man, they probably finna wave him. They also picked up, uh, they also signed, um, what's that kid, man, from Chicago, man? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. What's Chicago Bears quarterback? Justin Fields. They also signed Justin Fields. So, you know, when they pick up Justin Fields, man, you know they ain't got no long-term plan for us. They're going to try him out, man. He get to doing that thing he was doing in Denver, man. They're going to pull him and throw Justin Fields in there. You know that what they're going to do? So here's the deal, man. The next thing I want y'all to understand is this. You have to. Listen, bro. She's not going. She's not going to demand that you strap up. Now, I will say this. For for the most time, for a responsible mother to be intimate with you, she got to really be into you. Like, she got to really be into you. Because you got to think about it. She don't want to waste time that is a premium to her. Time is a premium to her. She knows she may not be able to get a sitter. Or she can only be with you when... Is when 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 her when her child is with his father or or when her mom you know with some she like she knows her time is limited so she's only gonna risk that time on you if she really really likes you and here's the thing about her really really liking you most times she's hard up that's why I don't just man listen I wouldn't just I, I'm not just gonna roll up and wham bam thank you man I'm not gonna roll up and do it now, I, I I used to I, I roll up man and have a come outside man just sit in the car man top me off and bounce but I don't for me I don't have the time like I'm a grown man dog what I look like man getting jammed up police pull up on me I'm in the car man on my wood out man and a woman in my lap man what I look like I got a reputation to uphold, bro. I'm a, I'm, I'm a respected man in my community by politicians, by businessmen, you know, by, 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 by policemen, by firemen, by, you know, paramedics, by business owners. I'm a respected man in my community, bro. I don't do things like that. Like, I, I got too much to lose to get caught up in something immature like that. So what I do, I make sure the woman have an amazing time with me. So when she's coming through, 
she gonna come through have an amazing time and she's not gonna care whether i strap up or not she's gonna not gonna care whether i use protection or not i'm telling you man i've only had one woman in my life who demanded that i use protection. now I, I was gonna use it anyway i'm gonna strap up anyway but she's the only one who off top before i even had a chance to do anything she was like hey you're strapping ain't you so i was like I mean, oh, of course of course you know what i'm saying uh, i mean I, 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 I yeah you know that but you got to understand man it's your job to make sure that you don't get drawn into sliding in that thing without protection bro because i'm gonna tell you her fertility has already been proven you know for a fact this ain't one of the ones who you got to worry about saying i don't think i can have no kids she already got one or two so you see now you shouldn't you shouldn't deal with a woman who got more than two you know you you got to be i mean you 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 bottom barrel living man you scraping the bottom of the barrel if you're dealing with a woman who has more than two two is the limit for me it may not be the limit for you you may deal with a woman who got five by eight men that's cool but for me that's it for me man i can't really do that with it if I, you know, if, I, it, 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 even if we just talking about, you know, just, just kicking it for me, man, that's, that's for me, one is ideal to be honest with you. If I'm gonna deal with a woman with a kid, man, it, it really just one, two, if she's a, if she's a phenomenal woman with her shit together, then maybe two, but I say this, man, she'll probably, man, that she type one probably get pregnant for pre-com. So you, you can't even risk it. Like you can't even not strap up with her. You know what I'm saying? Bro, let me tell you something. You cannot, you cannot take the chance because her fertility has been proven and she don't get a whole lot of time to let her hair down. And you know how it is. When a woman let her hair down, boy, when a woman is relaxed enough with you, let her hair down, everything goes. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all listen to me. Everything goes, boy. Listen. Everything. When I say everything, I mean, everything goes when a woman is comfortable enough and not just a single mom, any woman, any woman who's comfortable enough with you to let her head down, anything goes. You don't even understand what I'm saying. So not strapping up, that's base level shit. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro. And I'm going to be honest with you, man, deep down inside as men, we know. Let's be honest. Hey, put a one in the chat. Put a one, listen, put a one in the chat. If, if there was no risk of an STI or STD and no risk of pregnancy, put a one in the chat if you would hit everything wrong. If there was no risk of pregnancy and no risk of any type of infection, put a one in the chat if you would hit everything wrong. There is a preference for us men to, listen, man, to slide and glide, bro. I mean, but come on, Fresh. Look, man, listen, listen. like everything you smash, dog. I, I'm not, I don't mean everything walking, Fresh. I mean everything you smash. You mean to tell me if there was no risk of anything, no problem, no pregnancy, no disease, no nothing. You mean tell me, man, you'll still be, man, you'll still be strapping up, Fresh. Man, listen, I don't, I don't know why, bro. <laughs> I don't know why, but listen, man, you're going to have to buy a lot of them, boy, because the rest of us wouldn't buy none. You know what I'm saying? The rest of us wouldn't buy none, boy. You're going you to have to put them in the game. you got to be buying all the condoms, bro. So the reality is, man, we would prefer that. And I say that to, you know, back on a serious note, you have to be prepared to resist the urge to not strap up because she's not going to require it she's not going to require it hey yo you got not now you know what fresh made a great point here though fresh made a great point certain ones because i know she's still going to be extra to deal with but yeah i hear you oh yeah 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 now you do have to consider that man because i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell you something we all know this as well just from the time we were 
in, in relationships. We've all been in at least one relationship. You remember from the time you were in a relationship when you went from when you went from strapping up? Because if you're in a relationship long enough, you're gonna stop strapping up. That's just human nature. That's what you're gonna do. You remember how she went buck wild after. You after you stop strapping up, after you start, after you start hitting that thing, man. I'm telling my man, you know what I'm saying, uh, give, giving her that straight up man. Man, boy, she went, she went, she went, she went cuckoo. Because there's a connection. I want y'all to remember the connection that's made when you don't use protection is not made when you do use protection. There's a barrier there. You understand? So the protection that's made from you entering her and y'all mixing, like it, it, it doesn't happen that way. If you strap up the moment you don't, whoo, boy, let me tell you something. Boy, you put something on her brain. You put a stain on her brain. The moment you don't strap up, you put a stain, you put a stain on her brain, boy. And so you got to be aware of that. And also, you ain't trying to knock her up, man. Let me tell you something, bro. It's a hell of a chance to take to be her next baby daddy. Hell of a chance to take. If you're not her first baby daddy, it's a hell of a chance to take to be her next baby daddy. Maybe the second, maybe the second, but the third, bro, you don't want to be the third baby daddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially not if you're a grown, grown man. That's, that's something a young man do. That's a mistake a young man make. You know what I'm saying? A, a young man come from a bad environment, man. You know, you, you're struggling. You know, you meet a woman, man. Y'all link up. Y'all got a spot, man. She she might have a spot because she got it. She got a couple of kids. She may have a spot. Bam, you go ahead. See, all this this cohabitation and shacking up and all that, man, moving in with a woman. Oh, that's young guy shit, man. You do that when you don't have no option, man. When you got a terrible home life, man. Do you meet a woman? She got her own spot. But you go, but you go in there with a plan. Not to you 20 years later, you ain't still living with her. You know, you go in there with a plan and you come on out that thing, man. You gotta, you gotta always keep your mind focused on what your end goal in life is. And everything else in your life at any particular time, you use it as a stepping stone to get to that goal. You never settle for anything less than the life you want. Never. That's a the YouTube short right there. What was that? 43 minutes. You never settle for anything less than the life you want. Anything you have in your life, whatever level you get to, if it's not the end level, it's a stepping stone level. When you get to the level you want in life, you ain't got to keep climbing and climbing forever all your life. Once you get to the level you want to be at, maintain that level. But every level beneath that is a motivational level. You understand what I mean? MPI, I appreciate the five. I can count on my hand how many women ask me to put on a gun. Yeah, listen, man. I can listen. I can count on this finger. One, literally all my entire life, bro. One, one, and that's serious, bro. I, you know, and I'm talking about man. Listen, on all levels, I'm talking about man. The I'm talking about the hood rats. I'm talking about, you know, elevating to the educated women, the girls that's in college, the girls that's done with college, the girl with PhDs, master's degrees, women with their own business. I'm all, every, listen, not only one. She's the only one. So, now, here's another thing I want y'all to understand, man. You got to remember this, and this is for you guys who are looking to be in committed relationships with single moms. If she now, sometimes two people just were together, man, it, it was just a very short period of time. They was getting it in, had a baby. Sometimes it could, sometimes it could be a one night stand, which is some, if a woman had a kid on a one night stand, you should never try to be in a committed relationship with a woman who had a kid on one night stand. That means that she met a man the same night. They were, they, they, they had unprotected intimacy. You never want that in your life. That is, that's trash. That's absolute garbage. But if she was emotionally attached to her baby daddy, that emotional attachment will never die. So if you're a man that's even considering you know, commitment with a, with, with a woman who has a child by another man, you have to understand this. Her emotional attachment to that man will never die. Nine times out of 10, that man or one of those men is her imprint. That's it. 
there's nothing you can do. She will never be able to pair bond with you because she's already imprinted on by that man. This is one of the greatest detriments of trying to go into a commitment or even especially a marriage with a woman who has a kid by another man. It doesn't mean she's a bad woman. It doesn't mean she's a bad person. It means that the man that she's already attached to is not you. And so if you're going to deal with that, just go in knowing that's what you're dealing with. Listen, I don't care what you do. You do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. But I want you to understand. I want you to understand what you're dealing with. So when you go into a situation, don't go into a situation blind. Don't think you got something good when it ain't good. Don't think you got something real when it ain't real. Don't think you got something cold when it's lukewarm at best. Think, always know what you're dealing with so you can make an informed decision about what you want to do with your life. And here's the thing. Either she hates him so much because she loved him so much or she loved him so much that she still loves him. I say that again. Either she hates him so much because she loved him so much or she loved him so much that she still loves him. This isn't bad. It isn't good. It's just true, homie. It's just true. There's a spot in that woman's heart that that man is always going to have. There's a spot in that woman's soul that that man is always going to have. There's a spot in that woman's mind that that, woman, that man is always going to have. And at least for 18 years, probably longer than that, until the child, longer the child alive, there's a spot in her life that that man is going to always have. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You got to be crazy as hell. You're going to settle into a life with a woman, man, who another man can always talk to. It, it don't even matter that it, I ain't even talking about them talking, trying to be together. I'm talking about there's a man who has the right, who established the right before you even met the woman to call the woman, to have interaction with the woman. That's cool. I get that. They have a kid together. But that's going to be your wife? Look how Russell Wilson tried. We don't need future. Don't, we don't need his money. She ain't never got to talk to future no more. Then future come out and say, and I still smash on C. C ain't saying that. Not, not publicly. Probably ain't just probably saying something to Russ. You know he lying. You know, well, how, when I'm going to do that? You think I'm going to mess with him and I got you? Look, look how you will. You take care of me. You think I'm going to risk that over him? He don't even do this. He don't even do that. Why she creeping in the back door? You know, tell my... Uh, something wrong with her, her belly hurt for about three days to that thing close up you got to understand bro that there's a compromise that you make in a situation like that there's a compromise you make in a situation like that and i want y'all to keep in mind that it's not a worthwhile compromise it's just not it's just and don't let nobody guilt trip you Especially a woman guilt trip you into, you know, thinking it is a worthwhile compromise. It's not. Then some of you guys be be trying to be in these situations with single mom like this. You don't even have no kids. You don't even have no kids. What are you doing? Man, listen, I know a guy right now. He's with a woman who got four kids. Now, it's just about, it's about two men. She got four kids by two men. Her tube's tied. She can't have no more kids. And he wifed her up. I'm talking about legally married her, bro. He ain't even got no kids. So he pretty much stuck in a situation where he can't ever have no kids. Unless he going to risk a divorce. Or unless she, unless they got to understand, well, okay, when you're ready for a kid, then we'll bring somebody in. Maybe she like girls too. I don't know. But boy, that's, a, man, that's crazy. Why would any man do that? Latin Kings, appreciate you, man. Appreciate the two ball, multiple children, multiple men. Those love, yeah, man. They do. They love it. Yeah, they love it. Man, listen, listen. And, and I want y'all to understand this. That seems like a single out, but that is real, bro. That's so super real, homies. I'm telling y'all, man. No women with multiples, man, by multiple men, boy, they, they, listen, they are almost out of control with horniness, man. Like, they out of control. Like, their lust, their desire, man, it takes control of them. Like, they have to do it. There's nothing, ain't nothing you can do about it. Like, they have to do it. They have to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it a buck with you. That's why when I think about my three top experiences, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. My three top intimate experiences are all single moms. 
I thought about this the other day, man, when I when I thought about doing this show. I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this show right here. And me and the guy's gonna talk about this, man. And I was like, you know what? Man, my top three experiences. I'm talking about my top three experiences, and then fourth is a distant fourth. You know what I'm saying? My top three experiences, man, are lesson, bro. I'm telling you. That's just how it is, man. So when I'm telling you, man, it's easy. If you don't have your mind made up about what you want, well, you'll find yourself your wiggle one day, man. You'll be married to a woman with three kids by five men. Happily married, too. Boy, you'll be happy as hell. I'm telling you, bro, you'll be happy. And I'm telling you, it's it's a it's the type of situation where, like, you got to keep in mind, man, that when, you know, I, I, here here here's what I want you men to understand. You men who could possibly get in that. If she has a child with a man, and they were in like a relationship, especially if they were in a cohabitation situation, and God forbid if she was married to the man, she's already given her best of everything to another man. She's already given her best of everything to another man. Now she still may be a good woman. She still, I'm not saying she a bad woman, but by comparison to what? See, this ain't always about good woman, bad woman. This is about availability. That's what this is about. And if she's already given her best of everything, obviously her best years, especially if they were together for, for a long term, especially let's say she, let's say she 30, 35, what? listen man, her best years were already given to that man. You know what I'm saying? Like her best years are already given. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. You deserve to get what he got from a woman, but you can't get it from this one. Like, why would you think if she gave her best of everything, especially if she gave her virginity, if she gave, if she gave her best of everything to that man, don't you think you deserve the best of everything from a woman? Don't you think you deserve the best of everything from a woman? You should. If you don't, why don't you? See, this is the problem with the majority of women with children by other men. They want you to accept them like they've never had those kids by another man. That's what they want. They want you to overlook that. They want you to view them like he viewed her. She wants you to view her like he viewed her, like they viewed her. You can't. It's impossible. He has something with the nudeness still on it, man. Let me tell you something, bro. It is a big move. It is a large, a huge emotional, spiritual, and mental connection for two people to have a child together, especially when they're together. While the child is growing inside of the woman, man, they at the they at the doctor's office, man. He in the he in the delivery room and all that, man, doing all of that, holding her hand, coaching her through it, man, rubbing her head, kissing her, telling her how much. Boy, let me tell you something. Why in the, you can't compete with that, dog? And why would you want to? Why would you want to? And even worse than that. Even worse than that is the woman who had the kid with a man who wasn't there. And so she had to go through the whole process alone without the father of the child. Or the woman who didn't really know who was the father of the child. Or the woman who had to say someone else was the father of the child because everybody knew who the father of the child really was. It would be a problem. I want y'all to understand something, brothers. This isn't an attack on women with children. We don't attack women. We love women. We sitting over here talking about the benefits of being with a woman with a child, having sex with a woman with a child, of interacting or dating with a woman with a child, having her fall through the crib, you fall through her crib, Netflix and chilling, living. Listen, man, let me tell you something, boy. I'm not even against taking a, I, I, listen, I'm not even against taking a single mom on a, on a, on a road trip. Now, I'm not finna, I'm not finna take her out, out of the country or no shit like that now, but on a road trip, Oh, hell yeah, man. Let me tell you something. Because she's okay with the distance. She's okay with just being on the road. She's okay with just being with you. She don't really care what y'all do. She just want to be with you. But when we're talking about you trying to go into a situation where you're going to overlook something and you're going to treat her like you would have treated her if you met her and she didn't have no kids, it's disrespectful to the woman who ain't got no kids. Like if a woman has kept herself from crossing that line 
and then you meet her. Is it fair for you to treat her the same way that you that you would treat a woman if she had two kids by eight men? No, it's not. It's not right, man. Like the same thing with you as a man. We have things we have to deal with. Somebody sent me a uh, somebody sent me a meme, man, with this uh this uh this uh cat who work at McDonald's, man. I think it was a I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but they, somebody was just showing they paste up, and in a year. In one year, they made thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight dollars. I never forget that number. They made thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight dollars and eleven cents in a year. That was on their W two, bro. And I thought about it, man. I said, you know what? If you're a grown man, and that's what your salary is, then yes, you got to understand that. Women are not going to view you the same way they view a man who's making one hundred and thirteen thousand. That they're not going to do that, and so we as men we accept that. We accept that. We don't have a problem with that. We're okay with that. We accept that. That if this is what we have, then this is what our interaction is going to be. So why don't we put it out there in the world the same way? Why don't we accept the fact that, yes, it is a, it, is, it is, you're different after you have a kid with another man. You're different. You're a different version of yourself. You're a different version of yourself. So when she, after she's given, and you got to think about this too. If you don't think you deserve the best that a woman has, then maybe you don't get the best that you are from yourself. Maybe you're not the best version of yourself. And I think a lot of times we as men like to, we like to act like we're the best version of ourselves. But when you're the best version of yourself, then you only accept the best, of, you only accept the best for yourself. Like if I'm the best version of myself, I'm not accepting less than the best version of someone else. I'm not accepting that. So if you're willing to accept less than the best version of someone else, you got to do some soul searching. It's a reflection on who you are. It's a reflection on how you view yourself. It's a reflection on how you love yourself. It's, it's, a, refle it's a reflection on how you respect yourself. It's a reflection on how you like yourself. It's a reflection on how you motivate yourself. It's a reflection on how you do everything, how you protect yourself. It's a reflection on everything because how are you going to be the best version of yourself but accept someone else giving you a subpar version of themselves? And here's the thing. She may be the best version of herself that she can be now as a woman with a kid by another man, but she's not the best version of herself that she could possibly be, that she used to be. You don't get to give somebody else your best version and bring me the leftovers. That's not fair to me. If you're a woman and you really like me, you shouldn't want to be unfair to me. You should want to be fair to me. You should want to give me what I deserve. That's what you should do to me. Now, here's another thing, man. Let me tell y'all something. If you're easily attached, avoid the single mom. Like if you're looking for love, but you don't, but you know that you don't want a woman with a kid by another man, you can't even be intimate with her. Because here's the thing. Here's what y'all got to understand about a woman's intuition. A woman's intuition can pick up on if you're a needy man. A woman's intuition can pick up on if you're a man that needs love, if you're a man that needs affection, if you're a man that's in need of these things. Yes, we all, we all love it. We all need it at some point. But if you're a man that's in dire need of these things, if you're a man that's desperate for these things, the one thing that a woman's um, intuition can pick out is if you're desperate. Desperation shows. You know why it shows? It's not because she's this spiritual genius. It shows because desperation shows up in your actions. You understand what I'm saying? It shows up in your engagement. It shows up in the things that you're willing to deal with. It shows up in the amount of time you're willing to wait. It shows up in the amount of flakes you're willing to deal with. It shows up in the, in the amount of time you're willing to, you know, go without your text or call being responded to. That's what it goes to show. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're a man that's easily attached, you, especially you mama's boys. How you think Usher got caught up with that old chick, Tamika Foster? Oh, her name Tamika. I think her name was Tamika Foster when he met her. Now, of course, her name is Tamika Raymond now. But think about it, man. Man, how that dude get caught up with that old bro, man? Come on, Usher. What you doing? 
How Jalen Jalen Green get caught up with Jarrell Michelle, man? Man, Jarrell Michelle, 39. They got 22. She 39, man, with a kid already. What's wrong with this guy? How, listen, man, how Trevon Diggs get caught up, man, with, 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 with Joey Chavis? She got two kids. She got one by Future, one by Bow Wow. What are we talking about? She don't even have a type. When you look at Future, you look at Bow Wow, she ain't even got a type. You look at Future, you look at Bow Wow, you look at Trevon Diggs, that woman ain't got no type. She'll let anybody knock her up. So how do a young guy get caught up in that? Because he's a mama's boy. Most athletes are mama's boy. They ain't have no dad in their life, man. They had a coach, but the coach, come on, man. The, the coach's guy, man, he probably, he, he tough as nails at, 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 at school, man, with the boys, man. He get home, man. He get a cream poke with his old lady. Or, and then the coach only got you for a few years. You think about it, man. You're in high school four years, man. First year. Most first year, you probably ain't even playing varsity. They already got junior varsity. You probably playing JV. You know what I'm saying? By the time you make it to, to varsity, I mean, if you're really good, you playing varsity uh, sophomore year. Man, the coach got you for really two years. By senior year, you ain't thinking about the coach, man. You about to go off into the rest of the world. You ain't thinking about the coach no more. The coach starting to respect you now because he's watched you grow. He's had a hand in helping you grow into who you are, and he, he respects you more. Now he ain't even really trying to guide you like that no more. You know what I'm saying? He know you about to head on out of that. He focusing on the younger boys that's coming in that ain't got no father at home, that he got to be a father and a coach too. So when you think about it, man, your coach may have you for two good years, and then you off into your grown man life. You a mama's boy and that's how you get caught up with a woman that, that's how you get caught up with an older woman like that you a young man you get caught up with an older woman man who who been a thought her whole life man now she got a baby man and she catch you up man and she don't even want to be in a relationship with you come on man it don't make sense brothers Nobody ever gave you the game, man. So I don't even understand, man, why. Listen, man, you got to be over here, man. You got to be over here picking up the prism of the ism, dog. That's what you got to be doing. Now, here's another thing. Her nurturing spirit is high because of kids. And only a mature man doesn't resonate with that. Like when guys be talking about they be needing to be nurtured, I be like, man, that's a guy who didn't have a dad in his life. You ain't have your dad or your dad was a sucker. Any man who says he needs a woman to nurture him. He's a mama's boy, and he had no relationship with the most high. And then all the guy be talking about, man, I ain't no God, man. I don't believe in God. Well, well that's why you so needy. That's why you need all this emotional shit from a woman. Because you ain't your spirit man don't guide you. You ain't in touch with your spirit man. And so as a mature man, I mean, I don't resonate with nurturing. I don't need a woman to nurture me, man. Like, man, listen, if I'm dealing with some dog, I don't want a woman to ask me no I don't want to talk to her about it. It, 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 listen, it ain't that I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to her. What's she going to do? What's she going to do? Baby me? No, well, see, when a woman nurtures you, she babies you. I don't need a woman babying me, man. If I got something going on in my life, man, I need to talk to some people, man, they can give me some insight. I'm trying to solve this problem right here. I don't need to be nurtured and babied and coddled. Know what I'm saying? She can nurture these dudes. That's what she can do. So, man, we don't need that type of activity going on, man. It ain't real. You dig what I'm saying? JK all day said, man, uh, appreciate Tim Bone, man. I dealt with this when I was 23 when I dated a single mom. I wasn't getting the best that I deserved. So when I left, I demand the best from a woman. Anything less, I'm good. Man, you and me both. Anything less, I'm good, bro. I'm absolutely good. Believe that. Hold up, man. What fix the crypto talking about over here, man? Hey man, yeah, hey, listen to fix hey, listen to fix the crypto, man. Now that I don't remember it, I have actually dealt with a chick with kid, but we was on the chilling, but it was a business move for me at the time. Now, nah, man, then look what he say. Hey man, that fool say, man, but I never married kids, so that's why I ain't even remember she had them. <laughs> she bring me money to help her out, kind of deal. Uh, and she gotta be a hell of a woman. Like you said, I just think that's unfair to me. Man, that's real, man. Listen, I was just talking to somebody today, man, about, you know, about dealing with a woman, man, who, you know, and, and, and we'll talk about um what tomorrow's show is gonna be. Uh, and well, not tomorrow, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh Thursday, man. I I'll do the gangster show, man. You know, why you're not a real gangster. Um I got a show about that, man. We'll talk about that. But tomorrow, man, maybe we'll talk about that, man. Like uh the the benefits and detriments of dating a, dating a woman who has nothing. Dating a broke woman. We'll talk about that. The benefits and detriments of dating a broke woman. We'll talk about that tomorrow. That's what there. Yeah, that, that, that's going to be a good show too, man. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So, 
I want y'all to understand, man. Let me see, man. We got 229 likes, man. Then go ahead and hit that like button. If you're in here, man, if you're listening, man, why you ain't hitting the like button? Go ahead and make it happen. So I look at it like this, man, and I'll say this to y'all too, man. And, and the reality is this. Don't overestimate. You know, we always talk about underestimating the thing. Don't, don't overestimate the fact that all her kids are by one man. Yes, that's better than having multiple baby daddies in principle. But the baggage is the kids. The kids are still there. You know what I'm saying? The kids are probably more well-rounded. They're probably better trained. They're probably, you know, they're probably mannerable. They're probably better if they all come from the same two parents. That's a different ball game. They all come from the same two parents. But the kids are still there. And any woman who, is, listen, there are very few women who aren't with their children's father who don't need help with their children. Very few. And I'm just going to be honest with you. You have to have your mind made up about if you're going to cross that line and go into something more meaningful. Because here's the thing. The kids only burden you if you had to take care of them. Like, I don't care if a woman got kids. I ain't finna take care of her kids. So it don't bother me. If she has kids, fine. She got a kid. She got two kids. That's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing, man. I mean, she can't bring them to my crib. That ain't going to happen. She can't bring them to my crib. I just ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? Like if the kid didn't come from my, if the kid didn't come out, if it didn't come from my loins, man, you can't, you just can't do that. You can't bring it to my crib. I don't want that. I don't care what, I don't care what she say or how she feel or none of that. You can't bring your kid to my crib. You know what I'm saying? Like you really need to be happy that I come to your crib when, and, and when, when your kid's there, but for that like, coming to my crib, no, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And a lot of times, man, listen, a lot of times, that's enough for a woman to say, okay, this ain't the man for me. And that's cool. Listen, I don't ever mind a woman saying you're not the man for me. You know why? Because I'm the man for me. For my life, I'm the man for my life. I might, I might not be the man for her life, but I'm the man for my life. And I don't care who the man is for her life because I'm not concerned about her life. I'm the only, listen, man, I, I have a life. If a woman... If a woman passed the test, she could be a part of my life. But I'm never going to be a part of her life because I, so I could care less about, you know, what man fits into her life. I don't care. Because really the reality is she don't know what man fit into her life. You got to think about this. A woman got three kids by three men. That three men she thought fit into her life and her ass was wrong. What, do, what does she know? What does she know? She don't know. She don't know who fit into her life. So, well, her talking about, well, that don't work for me. You don't know what worked for you. You've been trying shit your whole life that ain't been working. So you can't get caught up in that. You can't get caught up in trying to impress and doing all of that, man, because you got to think about this. Now, listen, if you like her like that, then make sure her baby dad ain't a scrub. If the woman got kids, you still want to be with her. You cannot be with a woman who baby daddy is a scrub. Because you're going to have to be the type of guy that steps in like Russell Wilson. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not that type of guy. Put a one in the chat if you are not that type of guy. Listen, I don't knock guys who are that type of guy. You are very beneficial men. There's a Sierra in the world for every one of you. Uh, who has dated many guys that you have seen publicly and has a baby or two by one of them. You, there are many Drell Michelles in the world. There are many Joy Chavises in the world. There are many, um, man, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's money bag your girl name? There are many Ari Fletchers in the world. There are many young Miamis in the world. There are many sexy reds in the world, or unsexy reds in the world. There are many of them. They are all over the place. There's enough to go around for you Russell Wilson type guys. But over here in the Alpha Sphere, hey man, we don't get down with the get down, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't get down with the get down. Like it just, it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it, brothers. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. A woman who has multiple children by multiple men should not have access to the very best men. She shouldn't have access to the upper tier man. She just shouldn't. Not in a major way. Not in, not in a connective way, not in a committed way. She should never have access to that. Not because, she, she, not because she's bad, but because that man deserves better. See, when, when we say this, people think we're trying to down the woman. 
We don't down. Man, listen, the only down I'm going to do to a woman is lay her down. Or, you know what I'm saying? Um, pound her down. That's all I'm going to do. When it comes down to it, that man deserves better than that. That man didn't build his whole life up, man, to come in, man, and take over some other man's responsibility. Now, if there's a man out here who, who, who's still struggling to make ends meet, and y'all come together and have a better life, maybe that man is okay with that. But I've seen those type of situations too. And you know what happened? When those kids get grown, man, those people end up breaking up anyway. Bro, I'm not finna sign up, man, to help no woman raise her kids by another man till they get grown, then we break up. I don't waste my whole life, man, helping her take care of that man's kids while he living his life all free. Come on, man. That don't make sense. That don't make sense. John John Doe, appreciate the, uh, appreciate the fire bone, man. As a single man with no kids, single mothers, no go personally. I want a nuclear family, not a ready-made family. Exactly, brother. Exactly. Is it, and let me tell you something. When you hear idiots, I can't remember the guy I heard say this, but he's an idiot. When you hear idiots talking about, okay, if you got, if you got children, then you need to have a woman with children. Man, you, that's you, your mama told you that. Anybody who says that, I bet they got feminine mannerism. If you hear a man say that, look at his mannerism. I bet he act like his mama more than he act like his dad. I can promise you that. That's not even realistic. That's not even realistic. Why would you do that? It's dumb, dog. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, and the thing is, man, listen, if some of these things make sense, we'd adhere to them. But the majority of the time, they don't make sense. Why would we adhere to things that don't make sense to us? They don't make any sense at all to us. They make no sense at all, brothers. And here's, here's what I want y'all to understand, man. Hey, listen, man, we are, we are doing this phenomenal live stream, man, on the Sony A7 IV. Phenomenal camera. Sony has the most phenomenal. Now, I got a couple of, uh, like, I, I just, I just, man, listen, I rented a couple of cameras, man. I went to the Panasonic G9 II because I've got all these Panasonic lenses, man. Let me show y'all some. These are the lenses that, and this is off topic, man, but I got to share this with y'all just to show y'all how the camera game goes, man. I have all these lenses for Micro Four Thirds. I got the 12 to 35 F2.8, phenomenal lens. I got the 12 millimeter F1.4, phenomenal lens. I got the 9 to 18, 8 to 18, uh, F.4. Man, this lens is the best lens ever. I, then I got this 300. This is uh, 100 to 300, which is effectively a 200 to 600 that I use for wildlife when I'm shooting birds and things. All these go to the Micro Four service system. I have the G9. I have the GH5 II. The autofocus on those cameras sucks. But they just updated the autofocus. So now the G9 II has better autofocus. Well, guess what? I recorded a video. Man, the autofocus, kept, I, it kept zooming in and I was in focus, out of focus. In focus, out of focus. In focus, out of focus. Man, I couldn't even use, I couldn't even use the, the video footage. I had to put a whole bunch of clips on the shit. And, and I had to edit it, man. It took, man, it took me three hours to edit that video, man. You know, it normally, I normally can edit the video quick. You know what I'm saying? Hour, bam, video done. Man, it took me three hours to edit that video. So I sent that camera back. I, I rent cameras before I buy them. Rented the camera, man. Listen, bro. Man, I had to take it back. Then I rented the Nikon, which I love, man, the skin tones on Nikon, man. Man, I look phenomenal on Nikon. I rented the Nikon ZF. Great camera, phenomenal sensor. I mean, great camera. They updated off the autofocus on it. I love the autofocus on it. But they changed the skin tone. They changed the colors. So now the skin tone is bad. Or rented it, sent it back. So now I'm gonna order the I'm gonna order another camera. But this camera right here, man, the Sony A7 IV, phenomenal camera, 35 millimeter G Master F1.4 lens. Listen, this room is dark. That thing said at 1.4, man. Matter of fact, I got it on 2.0. It's phenomenal. So let's get into this thing. Let's get back into it. I just had to share that with y'all. So here's what I want y'all to understand, man. Another thing is. And, and, and this is another thing about the whole the whole not strapping up thing. She's more likely to let you forego protection and she's more accepting of a weak pullout game. Like she doesn't mind getting pregnant by you if you have your shit together. She don't care. Like even if she has four kids, 
she does not care about having a fifth by you. If she has six kids, she does not mind having a seventh by you. Now, I don't know why you'd be doing one with six kids, but you know what I'm saying, or one with four kids. But you understand what I'm saying? If she's into you, because let me tell you something about a woman with a kid and she's not with the father, especially one with multiple kids. She wants a chance to get family right. So you got to understand this. There's women that you meet who are 30 with no kids. There's women that you meet who are 25 with three kids. The woman who's 25 with three kids or the woman who's 25 with two kids, she has dedicated herself to being a mother. She wants to be a mother. She wants to have kids. That's the life she wants. She don't, she probably got a high number. She probably willing to have seven or eight of them. But you got to understand, it's up to you to not get her pregnant because she wants to get pregnant. She's perfectly fine. Listen, bro, she has no problem getting pregnant again. She don't have no problem. And here's the problem. Nine times out of ten, and this is real talk, I want y'all to look out into the world and I want y'all to think. Nine times out of ten, you see a woman with four kids, she's struggling. Because no woman has four kids by four guys who are paid. If a woman is not actively in, like, you, you take Joy Shavis. Okay, she was, she was this IG chick. She was, had a little following. Okay, she got Future. She got Bow Wow. All right? You take Sierra. She got Future. You take Drea Michelle. I think she had a baby with uh, Orlando Skandrick, NFL player. You think about it. You take Larsa Pippen. She had a kid with Scottie Pippen. You understand what I'm saying? You take all, especially the older women, you take Shauna O'Neal, she got her babies with Shaq. So you, you think about it, but when you think about the average woman you see out here, if she's got two kids, then one of those guys were probably broke. If she got three, for sure, two of them was broke. And you come through and you got your shit together, she don't mind having a baby with you because here's the thing. Most of the time, if a woman is struggling to take care of her kids, if you come through with the bag, you're going to be the one when she say, you know what? Somebody, no, nah, this one ain't getting away. You're going to be the one that get hit with all the child support. So I just say, man, you got to guard yourself. You got to make sure that you know what you're doing, bro, because I'm going to be honest with you, man. Honestly, I wouldn't even want my kid to grow up. I wouldn't even want my kid to grow up in a house where there's four older siblings. I just wouldn't want that. Unless all of the siblings are mine. You know, if all the siblings are my kids, that's different. But, man, I wouldn't want to leave, drop a kid in a crib that's already got four kids in there. Man, man, your kid going to struggle like hell, going to suffer. So you just got to make sure that you remember, don't leave it up to her to not get pregnant. Don't leave it up to her. But listen, not even her. Don't leave it up to any woman you ever meet. Never believe that it's the woman's job to keep from getting pregnant. It's your job to keep from getting her pregnant. That's your job as a man because you got to be careful where you plant your seed. It's not her job to make sure that she on some type of pill or see she do something else. It's your job as a man to make sure that you only plant your seed where you want it to be planted. If you don't want no flower to grow there, why in the hell you got the flower pot out? Why are you putting pot and soil in that pot? And why did you plant those seeds and water it? Why are you doing that? Don't water the plant. Don't plant the flower. It's your job as a man. If you're dealing with some, some issues with some baby mama drama, it's your fault. You should have been careful where you planted your seed. If you're dealing with a woman, she, wants, she don't want you to see your kids, she's trying to use your kid as a weapon against you, it's your fault. You should have been careful where you planted your seed. If you just got a call or a text from a woman, that you did not want to have a kid with, that's telling you, you about to have a kid with her, it's your fault. It's your job to make sure that you only plant your seed where you want something to grow. That's your job as a man. Period. We always talk about, man, you got to hold your women accountable. I don't care if a woman is accountable or not. I don't care about her accountability. I only care about mine. Her accountability doesn't affect my life. Who cares if she's not accountable? I'm going to be accountable for everything that affects me. If she's not accountable for everything that affects her, that's her. It don't bother me one bit. Because as long as I'm accountable for what I need to be accountable for, nothing that she does is going to affect me. 
Truth Seeker 86. Appreciate the Fit the Bone sponsorship of the show, man. Salute to you. My ex was a single mother, and finally, your child in 2018, you helped me to get out of that situation. Her baby daddy was definitely a scrub. Man, listen, let me tell y'all something, brothers. Salute to you, brother. Salute to you. Appreciate you. Let me tell y'all something, man. When you think about the fact that a woman who has kids and she got kids by a scrub, there's one or two ways it's going to turn out. Either it's going to throw her into a mindset where she's doing everything in her power to get paper, and she's going to turn into one of those go-getters, which means she ain't going to have no time for you, or it's going to turn her into a woman who she's just going to struggle throughout life. You know what I'm saying? Her life is going to be a struggle. And if you are going to be with a woman whose life is struggling like that, and you're going to enter a situation with her that's serious, then you're going to be, you're going to foot the bill. You know what I'm saying? You're going to foot the bill for the life of those kids, man. You know, you're going to foot that bill. And as long as you're okay with that, go ahead and do it, man. More power to you, man. Listen, I ain't trying to tell you who to be with. I'm not going to tell every man out here, man, don't be in a situation with a, with a single mom. Cause some of y'all, man, y'all life fucked up. And, you 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 about to you about to try to listen to some cat online who already got his shit together who's who's older than you and already got his life together man you struggling and you about to you know you about to skip a step that he probably took he took that step when he was your age he got with a single mom and and they both came up they both helped each other grow so but you young and you in a situation man you don't know what's going on with your life so i'm not gonna tell every young man out here in the world man don't deal with a single mom at all i'm not gonna tell you that because depending on your circumstances if you grew up in the gutter and you come from shit, you may have to do some things that a man who didn't come from shit wouldn't have to do if a man grew up in a, in, in a household man his folks had money he didn't have to sell drugs he ain't have to hustle you probably did. Maybe you got a felony because you had to hustle, but that's what you had to do in your life. So you got to, that's why I tell you, man, you got to do what you got to do for your life. But I'm telling you, don't make a mistake. Don't do something that you don't have to do and be, and because you don't know what you're doing. Whatever you do, just know what you're doing. Be aware of what you're doing. So if you're going to be in a situation with a single mom, you're going to let it turn into something else. Be aware of what you're doing. Don't go into a situation blindly, man. And that's another thing, man. Like Bama said right here, man. Sometimes, man, he wouldn't be in a situation, man. They be grinding, man. They be working so hard. They be grinding. And they just don't trust me. Because let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. There's guys out here who have it and still don't take care of their kids, man. You know what I'm saying? There's guys out here who have it and still don't take care of their kids. There's guys out here who are, who, who are being pursued for child support right now. They got plenty of money. They just don't want to take, they don't want to take care of their kids, man. They don't want to get a woman no money. And man, she ain't gonna spend it on the kid, man. Let me tell you, once I give her the money, I don't care what she do with it. I don't give a shit. She can listen, man. I, she can go get high with the money. I don't care. I paid the money. That's it. Don't that's it. I mean, whatever, whatever decision she make, man, that affects her children, man, that's on her. You know what I'm saying? Now, yes, I I I'll go grab custody of that situation, if that type of situation happened in my life. I do that, but for real, man, man, I'm not trying to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my part. I'm not trying to make nobody else do their part. I could care less if somebody else do their part or not. I'm I'm gonna do my part. You know what I'm saying? And that's in every facet of life. I'm gonna do my part. So if I'm in bidding with somebody not do my part, they don't do do their, I'm gonna take the bidding from their ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna buy them out. You know, that's just what it is. I mean, uh, that's what I'm going to do in my life. I don't have time to focus on what nobody are doing. So I don't have time to focus on if she don't want me to strap up. I'm going to strap up. I don't have time to focus on if she don't mind getting pregnant. I'm not going to get her pregnant. I don't, I don't, listen, man, I don't have time to focus on if she feel like, you know, I should come into her life and make up for all the things that she didn't get with her, with her last man. That's her job. That's what she want. I'm going to do what I got to do for me and make sure that I don't do the wrong thing in my life. You understand what I'm saying? Now, here's another thing I want y'all to understand. She will always be prepared for whatever planned time you have. And that's the best thing about a single mom. When she's coming through, she's coming through with intent. She ain't got time to flake. She ain't got time to play. A single mom is not finna flake, boy, because she, she had to make that time work. She had to get help to make that time work. And so she don't want to waste that time, man. 
whenever she can get the time to set it up where she can come kick it with you, boy, she coming. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're a sucker. Otherwise, man, she coming. She going to be there. She going to show up. She going to show out, man. You understand what I'm saying? So if you want, if and here's the thing, man. I'm not telling you to say, okay, the only way I can get a reliable, reliable woman is if she's a single mom. What I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, that bad chick you meet, she's going to be a single mom anyway. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes, man, listen, some of the coldest, the baddest chicks I've ever seen had a kid. So let's not sit and act like a kid that destroy a woman by the first time. It really don't, boy. I don't, ooh, woo. You can't even tell. Body ain't got a stretch mark on it nowhere. But you got to remember that. That's a benefit. Like, the, she ain't going to have a lot of time, but the time she has, boy, she's going to use it wisely, and she's going to make sure it's productive, man. You know what I'm saying? If she really vibing with you, and, and, and here's the thing. You can automatically tell if, a woman with a kid is feeling you if she set aside that time to come be with you. She ain't setting aside that time to come be with you if she ain't feeling you. You understand? She just ain't going to do it. She's not going to set aside that time because her time is valuable. She may not get, she may not be able to set this up no more for another month. You know what I'm saying? She may not be able to set it up for another month, so she ain't going to waste it. She ain't going to blow it messing around with you. She has to pre-plan time without her kids. She, she, listen, she can tell you this month what time she's going to be available next month because she has to pre-plan the time without her kids. And, and if she, if she pre-plans that time and she got a few days, say she got a weekend and she's going to come kick it with you that weekend, man, she feeling you. You already know it's going to be a blast. That's one thing you can guarantee. She ain't really got time to be flaking and doing all that. But now if you're a sucker, and she don't like you, man, and you got this weird energy, man, then any woman will flake on you, man. Lizzo will flake on you if you like that. Or a, Lizzo, a Lizzo-sized woman without the money and fame, man, she'll flake on you like that. I, listen, I don't even know what getting flaked on means. I know the definition of it, but I just don't believe it happens as much as they say it do because it's never happened to me. I never heard, not just the word, I never heard of the concept of a woman setting something up with you and then not responding, no call, no show, and not even respond to your text or nothing. Why I have never seen, I've never even heard of a woman like being super late to something, bro. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it because with me, with attraction confirmation, I can always go scoop the woman up. If a woman is feeling you, bro, she, she, want, she don't mind. She wants you to come scoop up from her crib. You understand? She wants you to do that. And I'm telling you, bro, I, I've never, I can't even remember ever meeting a woman somewhere, bro. I don't think I've ever met a woman somewhere because I don't go to clubs and bars. So if I'm, if I'm, me and a woman finna go out somewhere, we're going somewhere, you know, somewhere significant. We're going somewhere that not just with a, a whole crowd of people or something like that, man. So, um, I'm old school though, man. You know what I'm saying? I think the time to get acquainted is to drive there. Like once I get to where, once we get to where we're going, we should be physically touching by that point. You know what I'm saying? We should be, we should be all lovey dovey and touching it. We should be, you know, I should be able to like be right in her ear, man, you know, whispering things in her ear, man, you know, kissing on her neck. I should be, we should be at that point because we already got to know each other in the car. I'm going I'm to turn whatever I'm playing down low. I'm probably going to put uh, the Dells on. A heart is a house for love. And I've learned. I'm going to put that fire heartbeat song on them, man. Turn that thing down real low, man, where she could barely hear the words to it. And that's just going to, that music going to subtly put her in the mood, man. And I'm going to be in that, man, you know what I'm saying, like killing her with the romance, man. And while I'm in that joint, man, just trying to, just trying to, you know, make her, get her comfortable with me, man. Because I'm going to show up, I'm going to show up super clean, man. I'm going to show up super clean. You know what I'm saying? With that, with that alpha energy confidence, man. I'm going to show up with that thing, man. And I mean, it's just going to be a different story. But I'm getting off topic here. So I want y'all to understand this, brothers. Here's what I want y'all to understand. Baby Doe, welcome to the Alpha Family, man. Welcome to the GLG. Salute. Here's what I want y'all to understand, man. A woman with a kid is perfectly fine with playing house for a night or two. So taking her out like that is not even a pressing issue. You know what I'm saying? It's not even a pressing issue. She's perfectly fine with that because what you got to understand is this. She rarely gets time at home without her kids. So she would love for you to just come to her crib 
and chill because she really just want to have time to curl up on her sofa and watch a movie without her kids. Just with some quiet in the house. You understand what I'm saying? And she's used to touch because her kids are always laying up under her. So if you go over there, she automatically going to just lay up under you. Man, listen, it could be the first time you go to her crib. Y'all could really just been and talked on the phone a couple of times. You can go to her crib, man, and she automatically going to curl up under you because she's not used to being alone. So the touch is already, that's what, and, and that's something I should, I should have sold this to y'all, man. The touch is automatically going to be there because she's used to being touched. You know what I'm saying? She used to be into, hey, appreciate you, baby doe, man. Appreciate it, bro. Salute. So you got to understand, man, that that it's it's so easy, man. But listen, even with the woman, even with the woman who doesn't have a child, who's just active, she's busy. She's always grinding. She's always working. She's always doing that. Then she's out with her girls. Then she got to take care of her mama. Then she's doing all of these things, man. Then she got to stay in the gym. Then she got to, man, listen, man, you fall throwing that woman right there, man. Man, that woman just want to curl up under you. She want to curl up on you, man. She just want, she want some physical touch. So all women want physical touch. That's why I don't understand how it's so difficult for you guys not to get to the point, man, where there's physical touch involved with the interaction. I don't get it, man. So you got to understand this, man. A woman who has kids, she tired from dealing with kids and really just prefers to be at home enjoying her space without them. And when you fall through, you're going to get a chance to enjoy that space too, man. It's going to be a whole bunch of curling up, a whole bunch of touching, man, a whole bunch of everything, man. And before you know it, man, you're liable to be sitting on the sofa, man, just whip your wood out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Oh, it might not work for everybody, but that's what I do. You understand what I'm saying? And you, know, you just got to keep in mind, man, that for me, and for me, man, I don't deal with women, man, who club and party and shit. Like, I only deal with women who drink alcohol, man. For me, these are deal breakers. If you drink alcohol, if you blow trees, if you pop any type of pill, if you eat abominable meats, like if you eat pork and, 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 and you know, seafood and all that, if you eat any of that stuff, well, I can't really do nothing with you. So I just eliminate a lot of women off top because, you know, lips that touch swine would never touch mine. You know what I'm saying? If, listen, listen, if you eat anything, if you eat anything from the sea, then you can't, you know, you, you, you can't, you can't put that thing on me. You just can't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't got fins and scales, then, you know, you might well keep that thing in the shell, baby. I ain't going to do nothing with it. So for me, the, these, this is my scenario. And this may be different for you because you may be dealing with a single mom where she get time for her kids, she go out. But I'm just telling you, the single moms I've dealt with who are busy women, when they have time, they just want to have some quiet time without their kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's my experience. So another thing, man, is never be the one who accept her changed version. You know what her changed version is? The version that doesn't have innocence anymore. The version that's not naive anymore. The version that's not prepared to go all in anymore. The version that doesn't have the freedom to move however she want to move anymore. See, I didn't say change for the better. I said her changed version. Never be the one. Never be the one who accepts the version that she is now that comes with all of the baggage. Man, let me tell you something. She got to be packing a hell of a package. She got to be, boy, she got to be one hell of a package deal, boy. I'm talking about her. Her as an individual, boy, she got to have everything lined up. Everything lined up for you to consider overlooking these things, man. And nine times out of ten, you just ain't going to meet a woman. Because even if she's beautiful and she got her money right and, you know, you enjoy being intimate with her, something is going to be something else. she's going to have that mouth because a lot of time be honest with you, a woman who got a woman who got her own paper they tend to get a little bit mouth, a little bit more mouthy than uh, and not not no disrespectful thing cussing y'all calling your name saying that crazy to you but they tend to get a little bit more mouthy you know what i'm saying for me man i, I that shit don't work for me and you got to understand that if a woman who getting paper her being mouthy don't work for me you know damn well a woman man who ain't getting no paper man got a couple kids three kids by another other man you know that ain't gonna happen dog you know that ain't gonna happen. So and so uh, when I, listen when I say that I want y'all to understand that never be the one who accepts the changed version of her, especially if it comes from pain. If it comes from the pain of failed relationships, if it comes from the pain of not being able to be with the man that she wanted to be with, you got to understand this, bro. A woman 
will fight for a relationship, a toxic relationship with a man if she's really into him. She'll fight for the toxicity. And that takes a toll on her. It takes wear and tear on her, man, she'll never recover from. It takes a part of her. Her, it takes a part of her soul. It takes part of her mind. It takes part of her heart. Like there's some availability that she'll never have again because she stayed and fought for a toxic situation. And it drained her of things that she'll never be able to replenish. So you can't do that. And here's another thing you got to understand, man. We know that all women are, are, are hard up for validation. But a woman with kids by another man, she would likely be hard up for money, time, and validation. So the deeper you get in with her, the more you're going to have to give. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know about y'all, but dog, man, I ain't really trying to do all that giving like that in a situation like that, dog. Not me. Y'all can do it, but not me. I ain't going to do it. Nope. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do it, big dog. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all can, but not the boy. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. So anyway, man, listen, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, hey, listen, fixing the crypto. There it is right there, man. Another chain version of her is claiming she's a born-again virgin. Man, let me tell you something. I had a woman tell me that one time, man, she was a born-again virgin, man. Let me tell you something. I said, well, go do like Isaac did. I mean, go do like Abraham did. Sacrifice your child like Abraham finna do Isaac. Then I'll believe you. Man, listen, how a woman, this woman had a kid. How a woman with a kid gonna tell me anything about her being a virgin? You a born again virgin? Well, that go to the damn kid right there. What are you talking about? I'm talking, listen, man, she, listen, she was adamant about it too. Here, listen, here go the kid right here. You know what I'm saying? That go your kid right there. Daddy was finna come pick the kid up. That go your kid right there. Wait, what you talking about? You crazy. Born again. You're not born again. If you're born again, that means you had to kick the bucket. What part of you die? Well, the old version of me died. Well, how come all, all the all the all the evidence and all the all the, the remaining detriment of all that is still here then? Help me understand that. <laughs> why why all the detriment of all that is still? What the hell you mean? You are born again? Girl, you old as hell. You so so the only part of you were born again was your cootie. That hot pocket, the only thing born again, the rest of you still the same age. What you talking about? Let me see your driver's license. Girl, you're 32. What you talking about? Well, I, man, well, let me tell you something, man. Born again. All right, you keep believing that. You keep believing that. Well, you know what? You know what? I was rich and now I'm broke. I'm rich again. I'm I'm, I'm I ain't got no money, but I'm a born again rich nigga. That what I am. That what I am. No, no, listen, I'm a born, that what I am. I'm a born again rich man. That what I'm here? I'm, that, I'm not, listen, that, I ain't say that what I am. That what I'm here. That what I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm a born again. Because when you say shit like that, that's how you're supposed to talk. That what I'm here. That what I'm here was, had been, was going to be, or uh, had been one time. That's, that's how you sound. But you got to think about this, man. When you hear that born again virgin thing, you have to remember this. It just goes to show that a woman will convince herself that whatever she's done in her past doesn't count anymore. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's the most illogical thing that a woman could ever say. And so I'm not going to deal with a woman who, who, is, who is existing in that level of illogic. You know, all women are illogical. But that level of illogic, that's where delusion comes in. You know what I'm saying? She's delusional if she believes that whatever she's done in her past doesn't count anymore because some kind of way it was magically wiped away by the same guy who put hands on us. If we, if we stay, if we stay wrong too long, he put hands on us, but he's just going to forgive her for all, for everything. And she's going to be born again. Come on. I ain't buying that at all. Don't make no sense to me, dog. I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. How do you deal with women with no attachment but make her believe you're attached? Um, man, you, you just got to play the game, man. L let me tell y'all something, man. That's a good question, man. Let me tell y'all something. You just listen to the woman. I was telling somebody this earlier, man. All you got to do is listen to the woman. 
A woman don't care if you love her. She don't care if you like her. She don't care if you lust her. She don't care about none of that. She just care about the perception. Just, just go through the motions. Just do all of the things. I ask women this all the time. Like I, I ask women this. Do you really care if I love you? Or do you care if you feel loved? Women of all ages, you know what I'm saying? Women, I mean, 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old, women of all ages. When you sit a woman down and talk sense to her, then she really accepts the fact about all she cares about is what she feels. She don't care about your attachment. She just want to feel loved. She just want to feel appreciated. She just want to feel heard. She, man, listen, bro, man, I listen to a woman all the time, man. I, listen, I will listen to a woman and let her talk, you know what, because I don't give a damn what she says. I really don't. I don't have to sit and de- I'm not going to argue with her. I'm not going to debate with her. I'm not going to, I'm not going to even try to correct her on anything. I'm going to say whatever she want to say so she can feel like I'm listening. You know what she tell people? You know, I, I just love him. He's, he's such a great listener. He listened to me. He care about me. He care about what I say. He takes my opinion into consideration. She believes I do that just because I listen to her. I let her talk. Sometimes I listen. Sometimes I don't, but I let her talk. She don't give a shit if you listen to her or not. She just wants to feel like you listen. How does she feel like you listen? You let her talk. She's so used to guys getting in their feelings about the things she say because they care too much about what she says. So they don't let her talk. They want to argue with it. They want to debate with it. I could care less about what she said. Because here's the thing. I know what it is. If I tell you what it is and you don't go for it, that's on you. I don't care. If I tell a woman to go left and she go right, man, she get run over by a bus, I ain't even going to a funeral. I told her I had to go left, right? So... That's one example, man. Uh, another example of, of that is, uh, let's say a woman want to be loved. Man, listen, I just, like, I give a woman the, the husband experience when she come around, man. She get the husband experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, simple shit. Like, she, a, a, woman, a woman trusts me because I don't walk around, man, moving my phone with me every time I go somewhere. I don't care about that. I had a woman, man, listen, I had a woman go in my phone one time, man, got enough feeling about what she saw in there. I ain't give a shit. I told her, I told her straight up, I said, what you going to do about it? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to do nothing. Why look? What you going to do? You don't care. You know what I'm saying? Now all you're doing, now you sitting over there bothered like a motherfucker, but you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't, you ain't going you to leave me alone. What you doing? Like, I, that's really all you got to do, man. I mean, listen, man. All a woman wants to know is that she's cared about. She wants to feel like you care about her. And all you got to do is listen to her instruct her on simple shit like well not well not on simple shit on things that aren't simple you know what i'm saying like a woman asked me somebody well should i do this is i think a woman asked me uh is it time for you think i should upgrade my phone i ain't even respond i don't give a shit if you upgrade your phone you've been doing that for life ever since you met me i don't care now i had another woman ask me a pointed question you think I should upgrade uh, upgrade my phone if I uh, to to if I want to uh, get a better camera to if I want to get a better camera uh, to do content? I'm like, no, don't get a better camera, get lights. So for that, like that right there, just think about this. It sounds simple, but she's thinking, I need I need to upgrade my phone. I need to upgrade my phone. I need to upgrade my phone. Phones are a thousand dollars, eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. I tell her, no, don't upgrade your phone. Keep the one you got. To get you some lights. She go look at the lights. The lights be twenty dollars, thirty dollars for the pair. You can get a pair of good lights for $30. These lights here, I got one, two, and three. Well, I got, I got some new ones, though, that, that go in all colors but and all that, but I got some new stands coming in. But I got three lights right here, man. You know what? I got three lights right here, and I think I got all three on, man. For I think I paid like maybe, maybe $60 for all three on, and they're phenomenal lights. So I just want y'all to understand, man, that you must be in a position where the woman just had to respect your guidance. If a woman respect your guidance and leadership, man, she going to feel love. Because a woman understand, you got to talk to the woman about the shit you're doing. I'll never let a woman forget the things I do. I don't just keep reminding her, I remember I did this and that. I'm not talking about those types of things. I'm talking about I let her know that, you know, I'd I be straight up with you. You know, oh, shit, babe, I'm giving you, look how you coming up. You be around me, I be giving you free advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give free advice. You know, if you can't get it out the content, then you you want some one on one time, baby. You gotta you gotta you gotta you know you gotta book me for one on one time. Look at you, you over here, and you just getting one on one time. You know what I'm saying? Look at that gem I just dropped on you. You know, and that's in the beginning. Like I, when I drop a gem on a woman in the beginning, I let her know I dropped a gem on her. You know what I'm saying? About a week or two in, then 
she starts saying, you know what? I thank for that gym, baby. She starts calling them gyms. Thanks for that gym, baby. You got to train a woman in, in, in what you wanted to see, what you wanted to think, what you wanted to be, what you wanted to grow into. You got you just got to train a woman, and it ain't that you put no time in. That's just something you do naturally when you when you when you're living with the prism of the ism. Man, I just train a woman in what I want to be. All you got to know, man, is how to push a woman buttons. Figure out her buttons. Just let just listen to her. She'll tell you everything she like, everything she don't like, everything she need, everything she wants. She'll tell you everything. Then you can compartmentalize and decide which one of those things are easy for you to do. Because all you got to do is do the easy things. It don't take a whole lot of work, man, to keep a woman in the proper headspace, man, to do whatever the hell you wanted to do and to be caught up on you however you wanted to be caught up on you. But it don't take a whole lot of work, So, you, but you can't overthink it. You can't overthink it. Listen to her. Just let man listen. If you give a woman the floor, she'll tell you everything you need to know about her in one conversation. Just give her the floor. Give her the floor. And she'll tell you everything. Whole life story if you want to hear it. Now, you do chime in sometime and direct the conversation away from some shit you don't want to hear about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't let no woman tell me about her previous relationships. I don't care about that. I just, I really don't even care. Because I'm going to be able to tell what your personality to trace out by the way you interact with me. I don't care who, how you in If a woman was a dirty, low-down, dirty dog to her ex, I don't give a shit. Because I know for a fact she ain't going to be that to me. So I don't care what, I don't care what she was with him. So... Yeah, it's, it's real simple, man. Um, you know, just 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 remember that her that her brand, you know, we say nine tenths of the game is perception, and her mind, man, ten tenths of the game is perception. One hundred percent of one hundred percent of the game in a woman's mind is perception. That's why she don't care about putting a filter on her face to take all the imperfections off and put herself online looking like she's perfect. She don't care. She don't care if another woman does that. She don't care if a woman put enough makeup on to reshape the the, her, the contours of her cheekbone and all that. She don't care. She just look at her and call her beautiful. She don't care if Lizzo weigh 300 pounds. She walk around with a thong on at a basketball game, man, twerking. She say, Lizzo's so beautiful. She don't care. She lives, she lives in a world of, of delusion. So when you live in a world of delusion, then your number one outlook on life is perception. Of course, delusion is based on perception. You can change the perception of whatever you want it to be if you're delusional. So it's real simple, man. Like you, shit, boy. That's one of the easiest things in the world to do, dog. I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. Put a woman in the proper headspace, man. It's easy as hell. Sometimes you got to put on ice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to put on you got to put on quick ice. But you use ice as much as you need to in the beginning. Then after that, man, you have to use it sparingly. Because once she sees that, you know, like if she don't put in the work, man, to make sure that she understand this and understand that, man, you'll put on ice, man. If a woman really like you, she don't want to be put on ice, man. Because she, she don't have a reason to not want to talk to you. She wants to talk to you. She wants to interact with you, you know. But this all starts if the woman likes you in the beginning. And the way to guarantee that is with attraction confirmation, man. Make sure the woman at least like you before you go to talk about, hey, baby, let me, let me no, fuck all that, man. Man, listen, I remember one time, man, bad chick, man. Look, she was a little short. She was a little, she was a little short for me, man. She was like five, five, three, maybe even five, two. She was bad, though. And uh, so, man, she was just hawking me, man. She was hawking me. So I went over to her. I said, hey, hey, baby girl, let me ask you something. Something wrong with your eyes? She turned around and looked, man. She had this shocked look on her face. She said, I said, oh, damn, something wrong with your mouth, too. You can't talk and you staring at folks. Man, she just bust out laughing, bro. And I had a serious look on my face, but she bust out laughing because it was funny. Like, it was funny for me to walk up to her and just say that. It was funny as hell. Then she laughed so hard, man. Like, she she really got a good chuckle out of it. Then, hell, I chuckled a little bit. Bam. Struck up the conversation. And she said, uh, she said, I needed that laugh right there. I said, I know. I could tell by the way you were standing at me. You look like you like you were stressed out like hell over here, girl. Come on, let's sit down right here. Who you in here? You in here? Uh, actually, you in here with your man? I said, it don't matter. I just tell him when he come back, I just tell the nigga to go home. And that, that's what I do. But, but I grew up, man, around guy. Man, I grew up, man. Listen, bro, my cousin, his first, dude, and he ended up marrying him, bro. The one of the worst mistakes of his life, though. But his first wife, man, he just took her from the dude she was with. Like, he literally took her, bro. Like, they walked up to the dude and she told the dude, okay, I'm with him now. And man, my cousin just looked at him and said, man, say, man, he looked like he wanted to square up. He said, look, man, I mean, whatever you want to do, but no matter what happened right now, no matter how, no matter how bad I whoop you right now, she's still finna be with me. 
I just want, you know, I just want to be a gentleman about it, man, and have a come over here and tell you, man, so, so we can tell you together. Psh, they walked off, man. Took that nigga girl. So I grew up around that. I grew, I just grew up around, I grew up around that type of confidence. So with me, when guy be telling my man, man, what, what you gonna do around a beautiful woman? Shit, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, if she show me a trash confirmation, I'm gonna get her like she. I'm gonna get her like she want me. Cause it really don't matter, man. You know what I'm saying? And listen, let me tell you something, man. Man, right now to this day, man, my cousin like five one, super short, but he yoked. Like he yoked. He been yoked for a long time. The boy started living when he was thirteen, so he been yoked. But man, he like five one, dog. The girl was taller than him. He 5'1". The girl like 5'3". Still pulled her. Took her from a man. Told her, hey, let's go tell him that you with me now. I'm telling you, man, like, this is the level. Like, when it comes to women, dog, you got to remember. You got to remember who you are as a man. Women are above everything on earth except you as a man. She's above it. I mean, listen, women are, women are high up on the totem pole. They're just beneath you. Oh man, good God! Hey man, my, my uh, I'm still here, man. My uh, my battery died, man. I ain't got my dummy battery hooked up in my joint, man. My battery died, man. So let's go ahead and get ready to slide on out of here, man. Proper time, man. I I didn't have my dummy battery hooked up, man. I had a regular battery hooked up in that thing that time, man. Uh, I just got through shooting some regular content with it earlier, man. So. All right, man, let's get ready to slide on out of here, man. I appreciate y'all being in the joint, man. Been super real in the field. Let's go ahead and slide on out of here, man. Y'all put God fur. Keep grinding, man. Keep growing, man. Appreciate y'all being in the joint again, man. The brother True Seeker 86. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. With the sponsorship of the show, man. Baby Doe, I appreciate you joining the joint, man. John Doe, I appreciate you, man. JK All Day. I dealt with it when I was 23. Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Latin Kings, man, I appreciate you. MPI, salute, man. I appreciate you. Eric Bradford, man. Appreciate the five bones as well. And my brother, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. I appreciate you, man. Bodyguard Athletics and Baby Doe. I appreciate y'all joining the family, man. Welcome to the GLG. Let's get ready to slide out of here, man. Y'all put God first, homies. And y'all remember to keep grinding and growing. Let's slide out of here, man. I'll give y'all a little clip of this joint right here, man. Uh, about to go shoot a real, a, a real piece of uh, real video for it, man. Real visual for it, man. Uh, next month, man. So y'all be ready to check that out, man. We coming with some real. Peace. Like there's no tomorrow Like Showtime at the Apollo